uh, in this video tutorial we'll demonstrate uh, one simple problem on projections of lines so in this problem we are given the coordinates of the endpoints of the line we can see endpoint a of the line is located 75 mm above hp and 50 mm in front of vp now this information in above hp and in front of vp you know that it is uh, uh, making it clear that we have the point in the first quadrant the end point b is also above hp and in front of vp with certain distances so, so that point is also in first quadrant so this information so, so when it is uh, in the first quadrant so you know that uh, you can uh, verify it that the front view will be above x y line and uh, the top view will be below x y line so we have the distance between the end projectors also given so what we do so we initially draw uh, uh, or write down all the important uh, points that we shall need to uh, use so D text command we use and uh, using that so the initial points we know A dash we will need we will need B dash we will list down all the points first A we will need we will need B we will need capital A we will need capital B we will need capital A dash we will need capital B B dash and also B1 and B1 dash. So these are general uh, points that we need in the case of uh, the problem in a line. So this point is x, the other side is y, so this is x, y line we have and now we can start with the problem. The point A we can mark using the simple point command. So it is 75 mm above xy line, uh, above hp that means 75 mm above xy line. Similar way the it is 50 mm in front of vp. So in front of vp that information so will be recorded below x y line in front of vp that means it is top view so this information so we have also recorded so now these are the projections of point a the front view is the a dash and the top view is simply a so we can place it wherever we want. Now the other information is the point B which is located uh, at a uh, the end projectors are the uh, vertical lines passing through the point A and point B. So these are the end projectors of A and projectors of B are 150 mm away from it. That means 6 grid spaces 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So at 6 grid spaces away we can locate another line. On this line we have point B located. So because these are just the construction lines so we should change them to the C on color. So these, these are just for reference purpose so we can change them to C and color that is what we have done here now uh, the point B the information about the point B is and point B is 175 mm above HP that means uh, 7 grid spaces above XY line 
the point B has to be so this 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So above x y line me uh, above h p means above x y line. So that is how we look at the point B dash. So we pick the B dash point from here and we look at the point B dash. And it is 100 mm in front of V P. So that information again we record and we put up here. 100 mm means uh, 100 mm in front of VP means it will be below x y line uh, 4 grid spaces below x y line so this is point B so small b and that is how we locate it now we have the projection of the lines available to us so just join point A with point B point A dash with point B dash we have the projections so these are the projections given now in this question we are asked draw the projections that first thing we have done determine the true length to determine the true length we have demonstrated one procedure in the lecture classes so same procedure we will apply what we do just see so we make the line the, uh, the, the apparent length or, or the projection of the line horizontal one of the view we need to make horizontal for that the procedure is so the arc with center point method we draw taking a as the a dash as the center and b dash as the starting point uh, for drawing the arc we in the in the clockwise direction we need to invoke control command once we use control so then we have around the arc so now this line from this point to the end of the end of the arc so we draw so what is this point this point is basically b1 dash now the importance of this point b1 dash is it is uh, in vertical alignment with the capital B now capital B is is the uh, true length uh, the the end point of the true length in the top view so that point has another locus one locus for that point is this one pass the point a horizontal line or a line parallel to XY line passing through B so this is the horizontal locus of capital B another vertical locus of capital B is the line passing through the end of this arc and vertical line so for vertical line we can use the ortho command by pressing F8 the vertical line will be drawn like this and we come out of the command so what is this point this point is capital B point is capital B and we now make the true length uh, so we are in the ortho on mode to make it to ortho off we press F8 and up to the end point of the line so we reach this way so now we have the true length available to us so this point a is also you know it, it's a hinge point so we know that it is uh, also representing capital a so we have a capital a b with us similar way we have uh, a, the small a dash also representing the capital a dash so that information always will be there so this true length of the line is 1.8708 AutoCAD units so using this we can find out the true length 187.08 mm 187.08 mm so we give this answer here true length equal to AB 
it is also equal to a dash b dash so this is one